So the purpose of the video actually is to compare the spec sheet with the car and uh, the reality of the grading. Is the grading is uh, does it suit the car condition or no? Do they still have integrity in the Japanese cars auctions or no? So hopefully you will find out from today video. And this is like the purpose of the video. So this is the spec sheet. Uh, we'll go back later to the car. Just let us go through the spec sheet. So this is the let me zoom in. Okay, so this is the overall exterior condition. This is the interior condition. So 3.5 out of 5. 5 are perfect. 4 are in a very decent condition. 3 is, let's say, a little bit bad. So 3.5, it's between 3 and 4. So this is 2000 cc here. Like, I think this is the last day registered or something like this. This is the auction plot number. Uh, this is a comment section like there is two Recaro seats and there is a spare key and uh, there is the user manual and uh, the dealer records okay uh, this is the mileage 197,000 nine, kilometers uh, F6 like manual 60 speed blah 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 I think this is like the latest time where the car was inspected or registered so this section you will see the as per the records with the car that the the mileage where the car were serviced so if you if we will start here as uh, 5,541, 10,000, and then 16,000, and then 122,000, and then 174,000, and this is 147,000 where they changed the timing belt. Uh, here, the dent section, like a small crack in the tail light, I saw this, but all others I didn't notice them really on the car. So, here were the dents or repaired area and everything. So here mentioned the comments about the car like the tears on the seats and it's mentioned that uh, there is a peel on the steering wheel I couldn't find it there is uh, the seats are saggy or ripped and uh, interior is dirty there is a wheel that is crashed it's mentioned here and uh, there is a surface rust there is two kind of rust like surface rust and uh, and the corrosion so I think you have to stay away from those who mentioned corrosion their specs sheet and uh, this thing I think it's mean that those two parts are repainted so now we have an overall look on the specs sheet and we will go now to the car and you can compare the specs sheet to the car so uh, so this is the first day with the Evo this is how I received it from Japan. Uh, it's dusty. As you can see. It was parked in the port and then the vessel and then the port again here. Well, it was graded as a 3.5. Uh, well, to be honest, I think yes, it is 3.5 or maybe 3. And see this is the port of Yokohama this is the vessel name the wheels conditions are good well the caliper they absolutely need to be redone the calipers well, it's not my priority, but why not? Well, they got this ugly Alteza style JDM lights. Stock exhaust. There is no rust 
There's only surface rust underneath the car, and this is a good thing. Few dents as well. I think they painted the whole car and they couldn't fix that. This is the interior. It's bone stock. Uh, there is only an aftermarket uh, head unit, turbo gauge, and some uh, boost gauge controller, I guess. This USB is for the Pioneer head unit. It's the 6 speed. The handbrake can lock. This is good things for autocross. I don't know what's the device there and I believe this thing here this thing is for the Japanese toll cards so and um, this is the water thing for the intercooler if you can see uh, they graded the car from inside as a C will A the best well I don't think it's a C because all the seats are in a great condition except for the driver's seat. This is not, not a cleanable. So I think it's deserve B minus. There is a spare tire on the trunk. The car overall is in a good condition. The wing is carbon fiber. You can see from here. Well, after the first wash, Uh, okay, after driving the car for like three to five times, everything seems good. Well, I guess this wheel bearing need to be changed. So we actually bought the full wheel hub uh, because the front wheel is whining while driving. So this is one thing that was not mentioned in the option sheet. The second thing, uh, the second thing is the bushings the car needs like full bushings like front arms bushings rear arms bushing rear subframe bushings and this was not mentioned uh, in the auction sheet as well so everything else seems fine the engine is fine the uh, AC is fine the transmission is fine everything driving is good so now I guess we can compare like the specs sheet with the car and real. I'll keep this judgment for you.